So the Phoenix 8 Pro leaks are starting to stack up and yeah, there's actually some pretty exciting stuff here. But before we dive in, hit that subscribe button. It's basically like getting to test drive the latest Garmin before it even launches. All right, let's get this straight right away. The Phoenix 8 Pro isn't the rumored micro LED model, totally different product. The micro LED watch might come later, but the 8 Pro feels way more realistic for Garmin's next big launch. So what's the headline feature? LTE and satellite connectivity built directly into the watch. For the first time, you won't need to carry your phone or a separate in-reach device to stay connected. We're talking SOS alerts, live track, two-way messaging, and even the possibility of voice calls all straight from your wrist. That's a massive step up, especially for Garmin, which has mostly relied on satellite-only text-based systems before. Um, but outside of connectivity, don't expect too many changes. Sensors like GPS, heart rate, ECG, they're pretty much the same as the standard Phoenix 8. This upgrade is all about cutting the cord from your phone and making the watch more independent. And Garmin's actually reworking its software ecosystem to match. The Garmin Messenger app is getting a revamp to serve as the central hub for LTE and satellite communication, streamlining everything into one place. Of course, extra freedom means extra power drain. Multi-week battery life is a Phoenix trademark, but constant LTE or satellite use is going to burn through it much quicker. It's the balance between convenience and endurance that Garmin has to nail here. Then there's the subscription model, probably the most interesting part. Garmin looks ready to split features into four different tiers, enabled, essential, standard, and premium. It really looks like Garmin might be blending its existing in-reach subscription model with these new Phoenix 8 Pro tiers. Right now, in-reach plans scale from bare minimum safety features to unlimited off-grid communication, and the leaked Phoenix tiers feel like an evolution of that same structure, just with LTE added to the mix. In other words, Garmin seems to be merging its tried-and-true satellite service with mainstream smartwatch features, creating a single system where casual runners, weekend hikers, and hardcore explorers all pick the level of independence they need. This isn't just a cool upgrade, it's a defensive move too. Smartphones and newer smartwatches are slowly eating into Garmin's territory by adding their own satellite features. By doubling down on LTE plus satellite, Garmin is making sure its ecosystem stays relevant, especially for outdoor athletes and adventurers who want rugged gear with no compromises. And if you're wondering when you can strap one on your wrist, the latest whispers suggest autumn 2025, possibly as soon as September. That's the latest on the Phoenix 8 Pro, big upgrades and plenty more to come. Stay tuned for updates. Peace.